The goals of this exercise are threefold. Number one is to show how to create 3D logs. Number two is to introduce the Rockplot 3D viewer. And number three is to create diagrams that will be used in future exercises. Select the Strip Logs three dimensional multiple logs option. Click on the 3D Strip Log Designer tab at the top of the menu. The checkboxes within the column titled Visible Items determine what type of data will be displayed within the 3D logs. Enabled items within the Visible Items column will show up as colored circles within the Layout Preview area, which represents an overhead view of the cylinders that make up the logs. Items within the Layout Preview can be moved and resized using the mouse. The positions, dimensions, and other attributes can also be edited by changing the parameters within the lower right portion of the screen. Note how the options within this region change depending upon the type of data that has been selected. For this exercise, we're going to turn off everything except for the title, axis, and lithology. Click on the lithology option and change its column radius to 0 0.5. In the options list on the far left side of the menu, turn off everything except for the reference cage and lithology legend. Now, let's click on the process button to generate the diagram. The area within the new 3D Strip Logs tab is called the Rock Plot 3D Window. Free up some space by clicking on the minus button within the divider that separates the menu tree from the Rock Plot 3D Window. Increase the size of the diagram by clicking the up arrow within the box to the left of the Google Earth button. Next, select the View Dimensions option. Set the vertical exaggeration to 2 and press the Apply button. Next, click the Zoom button, move the mouse to the corner of the area that you want to enlarge, click and drag to the opposite corner, and release the mouse button. To restore the scale to 100%, click on the Unzoom button. Try playing around with the three rotation buttons to see what happens. Most importantly, click on the Rotate button and practice rotating the diagram with the mouse. Move the mouse up to tilt the model away from you. Move the mouse down to tilt the diagram towards you. Move the mouse left to rotate the diagram clockwise. Move the mouse right to rotate the diagram counterclockwise. It's very similar to an aircraft control stick. The view menu contains a plethora of options for viewing the diagram from oblique angles above, below, in plan view, side views, and custom views. Now, let's save this diagram by selecting the File Save option. Type in the name Lithology Logs. The program will automatically append the .rw3d extension to designate that it's a rock plot 3D graphic diagram.